We're given a bicycle rider with a mass M. He sits a distance D from the rear wheel and the distance between both wheels is L. Let's first start with the free body diagram. We have the downwards force of M. We have the rear wheel force up and the front wheel reaction force up. So let's start with our three equations. Sum of the forces in the x-axis is equal to zero, and sum of the forces in the y-axis is equal to zero, and sum of the moments about, let's say, the real wheel, about r, is equal to zero. So for the x-axis, we can ignore this because there is no forces in the x-direction. For the y-axis, let's go right here. Sum of the forces of y is equal to r plus f minus m is equal to zero. And then we can label this equation one. For equation two, sum of the moments around r is equal to, this is a distance d, and this is a distance l. So you take the force times the length away from the rotational point, and clockwise is our positive direction. So the weight of the mass m is going counterclockwise around the point r so it's a negative m d and the force f is going counterclockwise around the point r so it's a positive plus f l equals zero and now using these two equations we can solve out for what the the rear force and the front forces. So let's start off with the front force from this bottom equation, from equation two. Say FL is equal to MD. Therefore, F is equal to MD over L. Call this, and then plug this back into equation one. Do R plus MD over L minus M is equal to zero. Therefore, R is equal to MD over L minus M. And these are your two equations.